next level of understanding before understanding the argument or if we want to establish the argument it is a strong or weak we must understand this format of argument how form this argument is generating before understanding the argument we must know about the proposal proposal can be in various format we are proposing to the girlfriend we are proposing to the something else or we are proposing in the business matter also but here proposal is a simple representation of a statement in the form of questions simple representation of a statement most of the time in the form of questions means a proposal means a course of action to be taken up in some issues are there some problem is there or that problem can be represented in the form of questions is called proposal in that proposal must be deal with a certain defined course of action a proposal is followed by two argument and argument may be in the favor of or against the proposal argument means it is not generally we have the negative meaning of argument we always feel if something is argued means it will be always opposite no argument can be in support can be in can be in uh, against also anything both can be possible means it may be in the favor or it may be in the it may be against but in both way we can define it is a strong or weak if it is a strongly opposing the or opposing the sentence or proposal then we can say it is a strong maybe it is negative or positive if it is weakly weakly you can say just making argument for a proposal either it is a in support or against we can say it is a weak then both of the side you can say either positive or negative this can be defined strong and weak argument should be discarded if it is labeled or if it is defined by these five words or these five category means argument cannot be ambiguous if any ambiguity is there then we cannot accept that argument is valid means it cannot be valid that first point itself it will be rejected we can't further define it is a, a strong or weak if validity itself not there then why how we can define it is a, a strong or weak first it should be valid then only we can define it is strong or weak means it should not be ambiguous clarity must be there clarity must be there it should not be irrelevant it should not be irrelevant like we can give many of the example where you will find argument is totally irrelevant should relate its reasoning to the context it must be spoken in the context simplistic it makes simple assertion it should not make very complex way and very complexity complexity relation with the statement or proposal no it makes simple assertion simplistic if it is a simplistic very simple in nature then also we can say this argument because it will not valid it will not ignite any course of action it will not ignite any of the idea which can be a strong or weak then it should not be simplistic in nature it should not be very simple way like a layman way we are telling something just just we are telling without thinking anything that also should not be simple next is comparative if it is given in the form of comparison if it is given in the form of comparison like just suppose i will tell you india should stop the gst this is one of the proposal one reason we can give many of the state stop their tax system this is comparison india with other country but here comparison is not reasoned or not backed by certain facts or certain certain uh, certain hypothesis we don't have any data other country why they removed their tax system or other country why they removed the gst if it is backed by certain fact then only comparative argument can be can be taken in account it is valid if it is valid then we can 
we can make it further it is a strong or weak means comparison without reason or backed by any reason if it is given then we have to discard that kind of argument that kind of argument can be discarded next is your disproportionate many of the times will feel like a magnitude like maybe your proposal is very high magnitude but we are giving region very small magnitude like uh, we can just take one example everybody on this earth should not use ink pen or ball pen they should only use pencils good idea good idea now here argument we can say our environment will become much superior or environment can be saved due to this now just try to build the relation between using the pencil and environment of course relation is there it is a not invalid argument validity is there but just will try to take in account if we are using the pencil means same page we can rub it and we can write it again what will happen consumption of page will reduce means same page can be used 10 times maybe afterwards it will become much damaged then we we have to change the page but you can say 50 60 70 percent consumption of paper we can reduce and that many trees no need to cut down for making the paper now due to this small change can we environment total environment can become better no that is dispro disproportionate we are making a strong measure strong proposal everybody should stop the uh, stop to use ball pen and ball pen and uh, ink pen only use pencils to save the paper and we are telling our environment will become very good this is small major can make environment better no magnitude is totally irrelevant comparison then if your argument is falling down in these five categories or if any statement in the form of argument can be leveled by these five words or these five category then we can discard that